Now let us discuss about JavaScript array methods or object based array functions. So here there is no difference between method and function. Generally in JavaScript array is treated as an object also. So that's why we can call it as object based array functions also. In JavaScript array is a built-in object, a basic object, a predefined object which contains so many predefined functions. So totally we have 10 important functions are there. Now let us discuss about all those functions one by one. The first function is concat function. It is useful in order to concatenate a list of arrays. So let us see with the help of an example. Uh, so let us write, uh, let us declare uh, three arrays where a equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30. Next, uh, where b equal to 40 comma 50. Next, where, let us have one more array. So with the help of concat uh, function, we can concatenate several arrays. Here we are concatenating three arrays. So c equal to 60 comma 70 where let the new array name is num is equal to a dot concat of b comma c. Now what will happen is b and c content will be appended to a. So document dot write of a. So now let us display a content. So now a means uh, I am sorry. Here what is the resultant array num. So num means uh, first A content, next B content, next C content. If you observe the output here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay. Uh, now let us see the next function. Uh, here if you observe here, here the ninth function is join function. Now let us see about join function. It is useful in order to join the contents of the array with a separator. With a separator. So we can display the elements of the array with the help of a separator. Now let us see with the help of the example. So if we observe here in the previous, what is the output? Here the separator is comma, 10 comma, 20 comma, 30 comma, 40. Now we can use join function here, join method. So join of, within the double quotations, we have given some blank space. So now what will happen is, in between the elements, the blank space will be printed. 10 space, 20 place, uh, 30 space likewise. We can use any other separator. Let us assume that we have given underscore. So underscore will be printed. In place of underscore, we can give some content also. Ramu. So here the separator is Ramu. 10 is Ramu, 20 Ramu likewise. So this is the advantage of the join method. Now let us see the next method. That is pop method. It removes the last element from the array. <coughs> so by using pop function, we can remove the last element present in the array okay so what does num contains num contains the elements from 10 to 70 10 to 70 now let us perform the pop operation uh, document dot write of a dot pop a dot pop next let us display the result let us display the result here, what is the uh, name of the array? Num, num dot pop. Now let us display the uh, the content of the num, num. Now let us see what is the output. If we observe here, uh, here all the lines are printed in a sing single line. So it is better to use uh, uh, some header tag or some break line tag, so that uh, the content will be displayed in uh, uh, some bold styles. Uh, here I am using some header tag. If you want, we can use break line tag also. There is no problem. Okay. Break line tag also. Okay. So here also use uh, uh, some header and uh, uh, here also use some header tag. So that uh, the content will be displayed in uh, larger font sizes as well as uh, in bold styles. Okay. In bold styles. If you observe here, if you observe here, if you use uh, num dot pop function, pop function pops the last element from the array and it will return that element. 
So here, what is the last element present in the array? 70. So 70 is popped and it is written. If you display num, uh, now 70 is removed. So what are the remaining elements from 10 to 60? These are the remaining elements. So this is about uh, the advantage of the pop function. Now let us see about uh, the next function that is uh, push function. It is useful in order to add a list of items onto the end of the array. So if you want to push a list of elements at the end of the array, then we can use the push function. We can push as many elements as we like. Okay. So let us see with the help of an example. Control C. Here I am copying the above two lines. Control V. So num dot push off. So previously array contains the elements from 60, 10 to 60. Now let us push 70 and 80. And after that, observe the output. Okay. Observe the output. If we observe the output here, here if we call the push function, then it returns the length of the array. How many elements are in that array? So previously we have six elements present in the array. And with the help of the push function, we are inserting two elements at the end of the array. So now the size of the array is eight. So and if we call the, if we display num, then we will get all the elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So this is about a push function. Now let us see the next function. The Now let us see about shift function. Uh, it removes the first element from the array. So shift function is uh, similar to the pop function. Pop function removes last element. So it is entirely contrast. Whereas shift function removes first element from the array. Okay. Now let us see with the help of an example. With the help of an example, let us see. Control C. Control V. So let us uh, call shift function now. So num dot shift num dot shift so if you use shift to function now what will happen the first element will be popped so what is the first element 10 so 10 will be popped and it will be returned so 10 we will get 10 as the output and if you display num then we will get the elements from 20 to 80 let us observe the output so 10 is the output why because here the first element is 10 so that element will be popped and it will be returned <coughs> and if you display num the remaining elements are to be displayed and now let us see about uh, the next function that is uh, <coughs> unshift function unshift function is similar to the push function uh, it is used to add a list of elements onto the front of the array so with the help of the push function we can push n number of elements at the end of the array whereas with the help of the unshift function we can add a list of elements onto the front of the array. Okay. Now let us see with the help of an example. With the help of an example. So control C. Control V. Okay. So previously the array contains elements from 20 to 80. Now after 80, you add two more elements. Okay. Here what is the name of the function? I'm sorry. Not after 80. Before 20. At the beginning of the array. So unshift of unshift off let us add two elements so 10 comma 10 comma let the next element is 15 so 10 comma 15 will be added and the length will be written so what is the length so 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 means 7 so 7 plus 2 means 9 so 9 will be written and if we call the num function then all the elements will be printed okay <coughs> so let us see the output so 9, if we call the num function, then what is the output? So 10, 15 and the remaining elements got printed. So this is about shift and unshift function. Now let us see the next function. That is reverse function. It is useful in order to reverse the elements of the array. The elements of the array. So if we want to reverse the contents of present in the array, then we can use the uh, reverse method. So control C. Here there is no difference. Okay. If we, if we call the reverse method, then directly it will reverse the array, okay? Whereas if we see the unshift function, if we call the unshift function, that will, it will return the length. Whereas if we call here this num, then all the elements will be printed. Whereas here there is no such difference, okay? Without calling or with calling, the output is same only. So if you see here, the elements will be reversed, okay? 
8, 70, 60, all the elements are reversed. Okay. <coughs> Whereas now also num contains same elements. So there is no difference in the output. Okay. Now let us see the next function that is sort method. It is useful to sort elements of the array in dictionary order. Dictionary order. For example, 792 comes before the 9. Before the 9 in the sorted array. Okay. Why? Because dictionary order means first 7 will come after that 9 will come. Okay. If you see the program, if you see the program here, what are the elements here? Here, what are the elements? So previously we have 80, 70, 20, 60, 50. Uh, likewise, we have some elements. Uh, now let us call the sort function. Now let us call the sort function. <coughs> let us call sort function. So control V. So num dot num dot sort num dot sort. Let us observe the output. Let us observe the output. Here there is no change. 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All are in alphabetical order only. Okay. Uh, so for that purpose, uh, in order to see the difference, uh, let us add one more element. So num dot push off. Let us add 100. 100. Actually 100 is the largest element. It should present at the last position. But here the problem is sort function sorts in the dictionary order. So 100 will come in the initial stage only. If you observe here, 10 and after that 100 <coughs> and after that 15. Okay. This is the advantage of the sort function. Now let us see the next function that is uh, the splice function. Let us see the advantage of the splice function. <coughs> it is useful to perform removing and adding the elements simultaneously. So we can push the elements as well as we can pop the elements. Let us see the syntax. We need to specify the index. So here index means it specifies index, uh, it indicates index of the array. The number indicates number of elements to be, number of elements to be deleted. Okay. Uh, so let us see the, here index specifies from which index we need to perform the operations. Whereas the second argument is number. Number indicates number of elements to be deleted. If you don't want to delete any elements, then we have to set it as 0. Whereas element 1, element 2, uh, so on, specifies the number of elements to be added. So totally we can provide 3 arguments. So index, from which index we need to perform the operations and how many elements we need to delete. And after that we have to specify the element which we want to push. Okay. Let us see <laughs> with the help of an example. So here what are the elements? So 10, 100. 100, 10, 15, uh, likewise 20, 30, likewise we have several elements are there. So num dot, num dot splice of, num dot splice of. Let us assume that from the first index we want to perform operations. So we need to write as 1. So 1 comma, I don't want to delete any element. So we need to specify 0. We need to specify 0. Next, number of elements to be added. I want to element, I want to add 2 elements. I want to add 2 elements. So 200 and 300. Okay. Uh, if we want to, if we want to see the output, uh, then we need to display now. Control C. Control V. Okay. Now let us observe the output. Let us observe the output. <coughs> Let us save the program once and see what is the output. Control S. Now let us run the program. Yeah. If you observe the program here, uh, so num dot num dot num dot splice of 1 comma 0. Here what is 1 here? So 1 means this index, this first index. Okay. So in place of first index, we want to add two elements. So 200 and 300 got inserted. So, 0 specifies that we don't want to delete any elements. Okay. Suppose if we want to delete two elements. So, then if we want to delete two elements, then what will happen is 200 here uh, uh, in place of uh, uh, 200, let us write 500. In place of 300, let us write 600. Then what will happen is now index means 1. So, from first index, the operation we start. 
where yes two two specifies that we want to delete two elements so in place of those two elements 500 and 600 will be inserted 500 and 600 will be inserted so in place of 200 300 500 and 600 will be replaced okay now let us observe the output let us observe the output so num dot uh, num dot splice off so here we are performing operations on these two elements so that's why we got uh, that output okay we are changing these two elements so that's why we got output as 115 whereas previously we don't want to delete any element so that's why we didn't get uh, that output okay so in place of uh, 115 500 and 600 got inserted okay now let us see the uh, last function that is uh, slice function okay already we have seen shift unshift join let us see the slice function it returns a copy of a portion of your array into new array so if you want to create a new array from the already existing array then we can use this function okay then we can use this function so let us have a new array where d equal to so num dot slice of slice of let us create a new array from this index so we have to specify as one comma so what is this index this index is what uh, let us give as three let us give as three so from one to three indexes so the, that portion will be retrieved and it will be saved in d now let us if you see the output <laughs> if you see the output if you display d then we will get the output okay we will get output okay control s if you observe the output if you observe the output so 500 and 600 500 and 600 is the output so one means this index various uh, here what is the second argument three so three means index minus one so three minus one means two so what is the second index here 600 so from 500 to 600 we got the output okay so this is about slice method so this is about uh, javascript array methods or uh, object-based array functions in java